Okay, we're gonna use this uh, bolt puller uh, to pull the flywheel off of the crankshaft. Uh, this is the flywheel here and it's pressed on to the front of the crankshaft here. So uh, you can pull on it all day long and it's not gonna come off of there. So we're gonna use this, um, this bolt puller and then these three six millimeter bolts. I've had to uh, reinforce the ends here because the washers are, are gonna bend underneath this extreme pressure. So we'll, uh, we'll give this a try. So make sure that you get these bolts started a few turns uh, before you put a ratchet to them or you're going to damage the, the fastener if it's cross-threaded. These uh, really long bolts are gonna get bent easily. So make sure that you're kind of careful to pull on this as straight as you can and as evenly as you can. I'll put in this last one. Um, for speed of the video, I'm gonna use this little impact wrench. You guys won't be using this um, to tighten these bolts in. And as they start to tighten up a little bit, they're bottoming out on the hole, so you don't want to go past tight on that or snug because they will break off in the hole and then you'll have another problem on your hands. Gonna tighten the middle of the puller against the crankshaft. Gonna just kind of take a look to make sure that the puller is parallel with the flywheel here. And then I'm gonna use the impact wrench with the 19 millimeter on this particular puller. Line it up and I'm gonna tighten the impact. Um, it's going to tighten against the crankshaft and pull off the flywheel. And you'll get that loud pop noise and this will fall off very easily. Um, if you could take a look here, um, this is tapered and the flywheel has a perfectly round hole. So that's why it's uh, stuck like that. It's because of the taper on the crankshaft when you tighten it.